Paul Bazoga, Audio Masters Learning Center, AudioMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 21st question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 2. It's from the Blue Book app, the harder set of reading and writing questions. Number 21 reads What choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? Among your answer choices, you see verbs. These verbs don't show action. So remember, has, have, had, is, was, will be, am, are. Those are all examples of verbs that just don't show action. When a verb is underlined, there's two things you got to check for. Tense, whether it's past, present, or future, and subject verb agreement, whether it's singular or plural, based on the subject. We go to the little passage here, and we get researchers studying the terracotta army, the thousands of life-size statues of warriors found interred near the tomb of Emperor Qin Shi Huang. China are shocked to realize that the shape of each statue's ears like the shape of each person's ears, blank uni. Now notice, I underline the shape because shape is the subject of each person's ears. That's a prepositional phrase. You gotta take out a prepositional phrase when identifying subject verb agreement. And then sometimes you get a phrase between commas that's unnecessary to the sentence. Every sentence needs a subject. So like the shape of each person's ears, if you read without it and it's an independent clause, it could be its own sentence without it, then it could be its own sentence, then um, the subject's definitely not there because, like I said, every sentence needs a subject. We're shocked to realize, well, so if I read without that, I'm going to read from the beginning without that. Um, researchers studying the Terracotta Army, the thousands of life-size statues of warriors found interred near the tomb of Emperor Qin Shi Huang of China, we're shocked to realize that the shape, um, you'd say, it's singular, so it is unique, not it are unique, not the shape are unique, not the shape were unique, not the shape have been unique. The shape is unique. If it's ever unclear, replace singulars with it, replace plurals with they, um, so it is not it are, not it were, not it have been. The correct answer is B. This is testing subject verb agreement, not verb tense, not whether it's past, present, or future. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty identifying subject verb agreement. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.